this is Ben from Techno Do Tutorials. I hope you enjoyed my new intro, and today I'm going to show you my updated antivirus and firewall that I'm using. Because 360 total security, that wasn't the best program because it got tacked and it has security flaws. So don't go with them. I recommend a vast. There's a free version. If you want to go with the free version like I am, go to me, okay? You know, like, why pay when you can get stuff for free, you know? Free is awesome. So I'm going to run this, and yes, I allow it. And then I want to show you the firewall. I know that there's a lot of Zone Alarm fans out there, but for regular users who don't want to be annoyed, I recommend Komodo. Komodo Free Firewall. And, okay, now here it's asking me if I want to install the Chrome Web Browser. No, I don't. And then I'm going to do custom installation. And that seems, I want to go C slash vast. It's my opinion, you don't have to change it. And I like to install everything, and I only want English. Because I only speak English. So, I don't know why you download anything else, you know. Um, as you can see, they also have it for Androids. Not for iPhones, but now if you go down here to Komodo Firewall and click that, then you click Free Firewall Download. Now, if you want more information on it, uh, now it's just asking you to upgrade. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it says information about it, yada yada yada. Um, that's installing fluently. Um, now, see, it's fifty five percent. So I'm just waiting for everything to get configured, and I'll be right back when this is all. Configured. Now, when you run Komodo, it should look like this. And it's just extracting the application, so you can just get nice and comfy. See what your computer is made of. You know that kind of stuff. Now, for those out there who are Microsoft Security Essentials fans, I don't recommend it. I'm going to tell you why. Microsoft has made a lot of software, but this wasn't one of the good ones. Okay, now to the configuration Komodo. So, no, I, I guess we can send anonymous program usage, but I don't want to enable cloud base. You don't have to enter your email unless you want to get spammed. Not spammed, but just junk mail. I don't want Komodo. don't want it to replace Chrome. See, customize. Okay, here, if I click customize, I can remove Geek Buddy and Chromoto browser. Because I don't need that. All I need is just a firewall. And it's award winning and it's 100% free. Okay, Vast is now installed. That's great. Okay, now I'm just going to go back. Because I customize it. Um, let's share it next. Um, you can leave this option checked, but then your internet might be a little slower, so I wouldn't recommend it. I want to help Komodo by saying I know you don't want Yahoo, unless you, unless you want Yahoo. Um, I don't want Yahoo. And I'll be right back when this finished and so on. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is right here, you got some PC issues. And if you open the Action Center here... Now, let's see, it says view anti spyware apps. You. Okay, so it's not recognized. Okay, so that was vast. Apparently, it's. Let's see. So, if I go to virus protection. Okay. 
you antivirus options. What just happened here? Okay, see so now it recognizes a vast is turned one. Network firewall. I want to use Komodo firewall. And this flag should go nice and comfy. Okay. So thank you for installing the vast antivirus. Let's just skip the tutorial. Make sure you register it and you want standard protection. Unless you want to pay for the complete protection. I'm just going standard. No thank you, because you just want the free version. And you are protected. Um, so, since Komodo, yeah, Komodo is still installing, I'm going to show you some of the basics of using it. So they have a smart scan, which scans everything. Scan for viruses, which is pretty self-explanatory. Scan for browser add-ons, that scans for junk. Scan for outdated software. Now this is what I like. It tells you which software is safe to download and it won't let you download. It's an update like, okay, okay. To proceed with products installation, your computer must be restarted. After you start on this computer, this will continue automatically. And I'm going to click no because I'll get to that. But scan. See, you can scan for network debts and performance issues. Tools, these are just advanced features. Now, if you go into settings and you go to pop ups, and you can just you want active protection, all of these on update. You can do settings to automatic update. I'd recommend that. Tools, we want all these on registration. You are registered. It's great. Um, let's see here. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah. Now, if you want to do, yes, yeah, special scans, like you can, wait, smart scan maybe. And also, if you go on the vast tray here, you can enable silent slash gaming uh, mode, and also you can disable shields. You can also click this to update and you can enable advanced options but I think everything is okay Let's see I'm just looking for this option but I have no idea where it is active protection update registration shooting you also want to make sure you enable the rootkit scan. Like if you don't, if your startup slow, I disable this. I'm just trying to figure out where you enable the scan. And you also might want to scan for potentially unwanted programs. I'd recommend that because it'll scan for the programs that are just junk. And you don't need. It. But if you know what the program is and you actually do need it, then keep it. Um. So I'm going to pause and I'll be right back when my computer started up so we can configure Komodo Firewall. Okay. Hello, this is Ben from Technology Tutorials. I'm back with you and I've rebooted my computer. I see it's 89% and Vast already started a scan for me. One step ahead of me. Um, just for you uh, Mac users about firewalls, they don't have a Komodo firewall or a Zonarm firewall or um for Mac, but I can show you how to enable your system's firewall. Well, one firewall is better than nothing, right? <laughs> um here. Um I don't physically have a Mac, but I found this what I mean I've used Macs in the past. I just have this website that I can show you. Um I'll leave the link for this in the description, but so this just explains 
what a firewall is and I already know what a firewall is so not for me um let's see how Komodo's doing okay it's doing pretty well so yada 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 border so what you do is you go on your system preferences click security and privacy okay so my scan has been completed then you click start to turn the firewall on pretty obvious you know <laughs> and then you can click the lock if you want to but you don't have to and when you see that little green LED saying the firewall is on you're on a smiley face and then it should automatically configure that kind of stuff so Moodle is still at 89 what else can I do oh Let's see now I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back when Komodo Firewall has finished installing. Okay, it's at 99%. Now let's just wait a few seconds and Komodo should be finished installing. It is very lengthy, but it's a very powerful program and it's really worth it. Um, as you can see, it's installing some stuff. You can see it's flashing and that kind of stuff, meaning it's finishing it. And that could also happen when you're, if you have a virus. But of course, I'm techno dude. I never have a virus. I can't promise you that, but never had a virus in my years past with this setup. So, um, as I was saying, it should finish up in a few seconds. And uh, I'll come back to you when it's finished. Okay, so I have finished installing Komodo. And as you can see, there's this little thingy here. If you don't like this little thingy, you can right-click on it and click Widget. No show. Um, um, widget. Don't show. Now, I have to restart this, but I'm going to postpone this. Okay, so this is what I like about Komodo. Komodo, I'm at home, so if you're on a public network, it'll protect you very well. Um, and I'm just going to show you some of the basic settings. Of course, I'll fix this, but let's just see. Here it shows you the inbound. Firewall's pretty good at the moment. Um... I flip the task and where is it? Oh, wait, firewall task. No, it's on the home menu. It's just the advanced view of it, and no difference real. But if you click on task and click open advanced settings. If you go to firewall settings, you can say do not show pop up alerts, and you can choose what to do. And there's all these configuration settings that you can go through. And yeah, I'm just gonna reboot this, and uh, should be good from here. It, it'll just like it'll ask you a few pop ups, but then after a few weeks, um like a week or two it'll stop so it's not like constant 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 pop-up um yeah, and you know this should protect you from everything I can't guarantee because if your computer breaks it's not my fault um and I'm gonna put these links in the description thank you for watching techno do tutorials have a good day